So guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your like how to turn your graphics way down beyond the uh, the limit that Roblox gives you and give you much more FPS and it makes thing it makes things look a lot more rectangular, you know, like it makes everything is like it's like Microsoft Paint basically, potato graphics and Roblox. And I want to show you guys how to do that in this video because, you know, a lot of people have been, yeah, a lot of people have been requesting this video, so here it is. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to right now I'm on the normal Roblox player right but what you wanna do is you wanna download Blockstrap which is this you wanna download Blockstrap I'll probably put a link probably I might not. <laughs> I'll probably put a link in the description for this and you just download the latest version of Blockstrap and then when you open up Blockstrap for the first time it'll come up like this and then there'll be a bunch of stuff and then there'll be a configure settings button so you just want to press on that and then you want to go to engine settings where you can customize a bunch of stuff now I don't know about all the complicated stuff but I know you want to disable player shadows you want to disable post processing effects uh, oh yeah I you want, you want to disable terrain textures or something I forgot to put on and then you want to disable you want to set your frame rate to whatever your monitor is uh, which most of you might be 60, it might be higher, probably 60, but set it to wherever your monitor is. Get preferred lighting technology. I don't know if that matters or not, but it doesn't seem to. Put this on Direct 3D 11. Put your texture quality to obviously the lowest. And then I don't think these settings really matter. But then what we want to do is you want to go to Fast Flag Editor here at the bottom. And there'll be a bunch of complicated stuff. It's going to say use with caution. It's going to see it can be very dangerous, but don't worry. You can always uninstall it if you somehow mess something up. But we want to press is export JSON. Oh wait, no, no, add new. Sorry. <laughs> then you want to go to import JSON, and you just want to copy this. I'm going to put the link for it in the description. You just copy this bush, this really complicated looking thing. I have no idea what it does either, but it just makes it. It it's it's the textures, all right? And then you press OK, OK, OK. Pretty sure it worked. It told me it didn't work, but it should work, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. And then you just press save. Um, now if I open block, if I launch block strap, if I launch it, it should be it should have worse like a lot of worse textures like noticeably worse look at this look at the uh, the t-shirt look at the t-shirt like it's like really it's blurry already and since I have a pretty solid PC where my FPS is usually like capped I won't I want me personally I won't notice an FPS difference but I've never tried this on any like lower end devices but I'm pretty sure it gives quite significantly more FPS and it does really change the look of the game like this it looks like a rectangle come on don't lie and everything is just really low graphics and yeah that's how you do it if it doesn't work like cuz I'm pretty sure I'll, I just I just went with the flow like I just added that thing if it doesn't work let me know and I'll change the description to like maybe like probably I'll change the description to like to one that's better and that works yeah if if I get complaints that it doesn't work I'll change it or just um, but it works for me alright so make sure to like and subscribe and yeah see ya